YouTube, welcome to the channel. I struggled with Margaret the Fell. I'm not a professional Dark Souls player, but I've been trying my hand at Elden Ring. So I made every mistake in the book so you don't have to. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button. If you want to keep up with this series and check out some of our other videos, hit the subscribe. It helps our channel and community grow. Between my real life job and this game dropping, I have not slept much. Let's get into it. Margaret the Fell is the first big boss in Elden Ring that you meet on the bridge guarding Stormgate. This boss fight has two phases, and I've broken the fight down into three moves that you need to watch for and exploit. During the first phase, keep your distance. There are two big moves we want to bait out, and we will get them more often at a distance. While you're keeping your distance, be sure you're staying vigilant of two things. One, your position on the bridge. Falling off is an immediate death and a reset of the fight. And two, the lightning daggers that Margaret is throwing. He throws them in pairs. The first move you're going to want to watch out for is his charging leap. Margaret takes a few quick steps and leaps into the air. You don't have to dodge roll this attack, but I prefer dodge rolling forward because it will line you up on Margaret's back. While he's stunned on the floor, you can proceed to throw blows into his back uninterrupted. And when he stands, just be prepared to dodge roll his tail whip backwards. Reposition, get distance again. His second attack that we like to watch for in the first phase is his charge stance. We keep our distance. We can bait out a second charge move where Margaret draws his sword up in the air. We have two options here. We wait for the charge, dodge roll his first sweep, and then dodge roll through his second sweep as his shoulder drops. This will line us up for one hit. However, this is what I prefer. If you close the gap while he's drawing his sword up, he won't charge. He'll sweep downwards. If we dodge roll this, we can reliably get off two attacks here and then reposition with distance and repeat. At about 65% health, phase two of this fight will start. Margaret will draw a lightning warhammer and instead of the easily dodgeable jump slam attack, he will replace it with a leaping hammer strike. After a lot of failed attempts, the key here is to roll forward as he is slamming and go for one hit. For whatever reason, when you dodge right or dodge left and attack, he has a decent follow-up from this. This draw sword attack is not replaced, and we can employ the same strategy for it we had in phase one, working on keeping our distance, dodging the lightning daggers, and backstepping and rolling out of all other attacks until we have a good and distance position. Last key point, if you're going to use a heal flask during this fight, make sure you're getting some distance Wait to heal until after he's thrown his daggers. He has a nasty habit of deciding to throw as soon as you start healing. Guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.